Hello, and in this episode of Chapman Game Dev How To, I'm going to be showing you how to set up two different types of teleporters. Um, so to show uh, what they are, let's take a look. So one on the left is your standard Unreal Tournament style teleporter. So we wander over to it, boop, and we're now on top of that cube. Which way are we facing? Okay, well we looked like we were facing some direction, but let's like, walk towards it, see what happens, boop. And we're facing a different direction than we teleport, than we actually hit the trigger for. So now let's try the other one. This is the other way, which sets the, uh, the actor's location rather than using the standard Unreal Teleport options. This one directly gets a location and sets the actor's location to that. Wander over to it. Looks very similar so far, but let's like try walking back towards it. And if you notice, we are now facing the same direction that we entered it at. So slightly different. One allows for a lot more control than the other. So let's take a look how these are built. In Kismet, here's our two options. We have our basic Unreal Teleport option using the Teleport node. And then we have the more advanced uh, Set Actor Location option that uses a vector location from an object. So let's set these up from scratch. So let's go back on the other side over here and set up two new nodes, two new triggers that will teleport us to a new location. So let's set it up. So let's first add our spot where we want to spawn, where we want to uh, teleport the player to. So let's add an object over here. In this case, I'm going to add a path node right over here that I want to teleport the players to. Now all the way over on this side, I'm going to add our two triggers. Trigger one will be for our standard teleport and then add actor trigger. This trigger will be for our get and set locations. So first let's do our standard Unreal Tournament style teleport. So now that we have this, uh, oh, before we do that, let's select both of these, F4, turn off hidden, that way we can see them in the game. Um, so for our first guy selecting him, this will be our standard Unreal Tournament style teleport. Open up Kismet, let's go to a new little section. And let's do event using trigger, touch. So when we touch it, we want to teleport the player. Easy enough, action, actor, teleport. Perfect, when touched, do that. Target is who do we want to teleport? We want to teleport whoever touched this. So we want the instigator from down here. We can't just connect the instigator to the option over here. So we need to pass it and store it temporarily into a little variable. So new variable, object, object, drag the instigator in here, notice they're both pink, perfect, target, pink, perfect. So we want to target whoever touched this, whether it's the player or a bot that ran into it or a projectile or anything. You can limit this to being a player. Um, if, you, if there's only one player in your game, you can use player from over here, but we're gonna use this instigator. It's a little bit more accurate. So destination, where do we want them to teleport to? Well, we wanna teleport to this little path node all the way over here. So selecting that path node, right click, new object using path node, destination. Now, let's test this out. First, let's set max trigger count to zero. Perfect. Now, let's test this out. Let's go back. Here's our left-hand side one. We need to remember that. Play from here. Perfect. Let's wander into it. Ba -doop. Awesome. We teleported. Now, you notice which direction we're facing on that one? So let's play from here. Let's, let's face. So we're facing away from those two trigger nodes that we set up previously. So facing away, walk into it. Oh, we're now facing a completely opposite direction. How come? Well, the basic teleport option automatically rotates you to the direction of the object that you're teleporting to. So if you notice this arrow coming out of the path node, that tells us where it's currently pointing and where we're going to be pointing when we teleport out of it. You can see it's pointing to the right now, 
this way, which is the way we were teleporting. So let's rotate this. And let's point it towards that corner. So now we should, when we teleport, we should be pointing towards the corner. Let's go back and test that out. Play from here. Perfect. Water into it. Boom. We're now facing towards the corner. So really handy if you want to teleport the player somewhere and force them to look at a direction. Also, as a side note, this teleport option, uh, if you're using uh, an Unreal Tournament style game, so if any of your stuff is deathmatch, stuff like that, this will also add sound effects and a particle effect. So it will actually make the teleport noise and make little teleport particle systems with it. So it is not as clean as it would be if you're making a non-Unreal Tournament game, which is the exact reason why we're going to build the set location, which does a very similar thing, except we have control over exactly what goes on. All it does is literally set the actor's location to a new point. So let's set that up with this guy. So selecting him, let's add a new event using this trigger on touch. Perfect. Now, first thing we need to do is get the location of where we want to teleport the, the, the individual to. So new action, actor, get location and rotation. Perfect. So with this, what do we want to get the location and rotation of? Well, we want our teleport location. So let's wander over here, selecting our path node apple and right click in Kismet, new object using the path node, target. There you go. So we want to get that thing's location and it's going to pop out of this node. Notice it's brown. If you haven't actually seen any of these brown before, brown stands for vector and you get a little hint rotation vector right there. So we need to store that temporarily in a new variable, vector. It's a three point X, Y, Z, much like a location should be. So drag that over there. So we now have the location. It won't automatically update because it doesn't actually know what's going on yet. So we have the location of our object. Now we just need to set the player's location to that. So new action, actor, set actor location. Perfect. And now right after we get the location, set the location, and now it wants a vector. Drag it to the vector we just set, we just got. Perfect. Now all it wants is a target. Who are we setting this location to? Well, we want the instigator. We can't just connect the two like we did last, like we've never done before. So let's create a new variable. Just temporarily store that new object. Object instigator goes in there, and target goes in there. Perfect. So let's give that a shot, see what happens. Play from here. There's there's our standard teleport. Here is our new teleport. Whoop, oh, it fell off the edge. Look at that. So let's try it again without falling off the edge. So let's wander into it. Doo -doo. Oh, now we are conveniently pointing towards there. Does that mean it's also setting our rotation? Let's try it again. Let's go on the other side of it and point away from that corner. So opposite direction. Perfect. So it's not actually rotating us in any direction because all we're doing is getting the location. 